Hello there, and welcome to Level Update. Lake Powell, one of the largest reservoirs in the United States, sits at a water level of 3,545.65 feet above mean sea level as of October 25, 2025. That's about 154 feet below its full pool elevation of 3,700 feet, marking another year where the lake remains well below historical highs. But unlike the steep declines seen in some previous years, the story of 2025 shows a mixed pattern, a balance between gradual losses and small periodic recoveries that hint at a certain level of stability returning to the system. If we trace the graph for 2025, we see that water levels started just above 3,570 feet early in the year, then steadily declined through winter and early spring. This drop followed the usual seasonal pattern, when upstream inflows are lower and outflows through Glen Canyon Dam continue for power generation and downstream water deliveries. By around May, the level began to stabilize near 3,555 feet, suggesting that inflows from snowmelt and spring runoff began to balance the steady releases. Then came the early summer rise, a modest but noticeable increase that brought the water level back up to about 3,565 feet in June. This uptick reflects the mid-year inflow from tributaries like the San Juan and the Colorado River's upper basin, which typically swell during late spring. However, this rise was short-lived. Through July and August, the lake's level began its gradual descent once again, reaching a low near 3,545 feet by early October, roughly where it stands today. When we compare 2025's trend to previous years, a few interesting observations emerge. Looking at the multi-year graph, the 2025 blue line lies close to 2021's level, significantly above the record lows of 2022 when the lake dipped near 3,520 feet, but still well below the stronger years like 2020 and 2024 when the reservoir hovered around 3,580 to 3,610 feet. This comparison highlights a subtle but crucial fact. Lake Powell's decline has slowed. While the reservoir hasn't recovered, the rate of loss has become more controlled. Over the past few months, the level has even flattened, holding steady within a few inches day to day. The change since yesterday reading shows 0.00 feet, signaling a temporary pause, a balance between inflows and releases that reflects short-term stability in the system. This balance doesn't mean the lake is safe, but it does mark a shift away from the dramatic fluctuations that characterized the early 2020s. The 2022 collapse, for example, was tied to extremely low upstream inflows and aggressive downstream releases to support Lake Mead. In contrast, 2025's profile shows a smoother line, with fewer sharp spikes or drops, suggesting better management coordination between the upper and lower basin states and perhaps more measured releases from Glen Canyon Dam. Hydrologically, this stability could be explained by three main factors. First, the managed outflows from Glen Canyon have remained consistent, keeping generation steady while protecting the dam's operational minimums. Second, runoff timing this year was more evenly distributed, reducing the risk of quick surges followed by dry months. And third, the inflow-outflow ratio has improved slightly, meaning that the lake is not losing as much volume per day as it did two or three years ago. Still, even at 3,545 feet, Lake Powell sits below its target minimum power pool elevation of 3,490 feet by only about 55 feet. That's not a comfortable margin. Below that threshold, hydropower generation at Glen Canyon Dam would be severely limited. Engineers continue to monitor this closely because once the reservoir dips too low, turbines can't operate efficiently, leading to potential curtailments in energy supply across several western states. The shape of the 2025 curve also reveals another subtle improvement, the absence of a sharp post-summer crash. In many earlier years, especially 2021 and 2022, the graphs show a steep downward plunge after August, 
but in 2025, the decline flattens out. This may suggest that downstream releases were scaled back or that inflows, though modest, helped cushion the late-season drawdown. In the broader context of reservoir management, stability, even at low levels, is valuable. A flat line, in this case, doesn't just mean stagnation, it means balance. It indicates that Lake Powell isn't hemorrhaging water as quickly as it once was. For those monitoring western water resources, this is a sign of system equilibrium, at least for now. Looking forward, the question becomes how this stability will hold through the winter months. Historically, water levels in Powell dip slightly during late fall and winter, as inflows diminish and releases continue at steady rates. The key factor to watch will be the early 2026 snowpack across the Colorado River Basin. A strong snow season could push levels upward again by late spring, while a weak one might maintain or slightly lower the line we see today. If the current pattern persists, small seasonal rises followed by gentle declines, we could be witnessing the early stages of a plateau period for Lake Powell, where the reservoir hovers between 3,540 and 3,560 feet for extended stretches. Such a plateau, while not ideal in terms of storage capacity, would still provide operational security for hydropower and downstream flow obligations. For observers and water managers, 2025 has shown that while Lake Powell remains far from full, it's also far from the brink. Stability has returned, even if modestly. And in the world of reservoir management, stability can be as important as recovery. It provides predictability, planning confidence, and a buffer against sudden crisis. In summary, the story of Lake Powell in October 2025 is not one of dramatic recovery or collapse, but of control and steadiness. The water level at 3,545.65 feet represents a system that's finding balance after years of volatility. The lake's gentle curve on the chart, its minimal daily change, and its consistent mid-year behavior all point to a reservoir that is learning to stabilize within its limits. For now, that stability is the quiet success, a signal that Lake Powell, while still low, may be entering a phase of managed equilibrium rather than ongoing decline. As we wrap up this deep analysis of Lake Powell's 2025 water level, one thing stands out. Stability has finally returned, even if the reservoir remains far below its historic highs. The gentle line on this year's chart tells a quiet story of control, balance, and careful management. No dramatic rise, no sudden collapse, just a steady effort to maintain the lake within safe limits. Lake Powell is still a long way from full, but its resilience this year shows that balance is possible even under tight conditions. It's a reminder that stability, not just recovery, can be a success story of its own. If you found this analysis helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Lake Powell and Lake Mead. Let's keep following this journey together, one level at a time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next update.